Hey everyone, welcome to Mrs. Rogers Test Kitchen. Now today we are going to be making one of the most yummiest slices. I've had some. Yeah. Sorry, I needed to interject really quickly because that's what I do. I've had some, it's yummy. So guys, you need to like and share and get people watching this slice because I was really surprised. It's coffee and cacao, but it is flavored. Cacao. I know that sounds real fancy Coffee pants. and cacao. But it is flavored with a little bit of mace, which is nice. And I'm thinking maybe you could chuck a little bit of orange zest or something like that maybe in it too could. if you wanted to be spicy or flavorsome. Or crazy. 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 Uh, oh, and sorry, we are doing a different format as well. We've decided to do Instagram TV style of format because it may be easier to watch on your phone. We don't know. Yeah, we thought it Guess actually it may be easier to watch on your phone because... Yeah. You know, people are probably, what, what is the time? It, you know, you, you're getting ready to go pick the yeah. kids up from hey, school or whatever. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. Ne yeah, let's yeah, let see us know, actually, for you to let us know whether this is a, a, better, a format better format or a different format or whatever. We're not going to be doing spotting multiple cameras, so I just get to sit here and relax. Right. It's going to be easy. And anyway, talk, let us know. You'll probably talk too much. I will talk more, I can promise. <laughs> And is the audio okay? Let us know as well. Yeah, let us know different. if the audio is fine. We did do a test, so fingers crossed it is. We don't just kind of jump into this. Yeah, anyway, nice. I firstly want to talk to you about mace. We have a competition running, and I'm going to tell you the difference between mace and nutmeg and, and things like that in a minute. I want to know what you like to use mace in or what you think you could use mace in. Uh, it's not a substitute from nutmeg. What mace is... So this is a whole nutmeg. This is one of Mrs. Rogers' whole nutmegs. Thanks, Glennis. Glennis says the audio is okay. Your Thank star. you, Glennis. And mace is the, the fluffy, quite reddish stuff on the outside of the nutmeg. Now they grind that and it, well, dry it out and grind it, powder it, and it becomes mace. Now it's-, it's, it's Jimmy, so Jimmy's calling us lovely. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. Hello. So I'm actually going to pull these out because I was quite shocked when I started doing the whole research. Give us your shock face. Wow. No, I was probably more shocked. shocked than that. Well That's like my stage shock face. So this one, I'm not sure if you can see the colours. This, this one is Show mace the and the darker one is nutmeg. Yeah, look at that. So they're from the same nut. I'm assuming nutmeg well, is a nutmeg nut. Nutmeg is a nut. Uh, so yeah, it, it just goes to show, and even when you smell them, they smell quite different. So mace, I think, and I could be so wrong, but mace is a more gentle flavour. Oh it is, it's definitely a more it's gentle flavour. It's more flavor. subtle yep. um, to my palate, uh, and it's often used in savoury uh, dishes. But I'm going to show you it in this yummy slice. Now the reason I love this slice is because it's a non-cooked slice. It's basically melt and put together slice and it will also last in your fridge easily up to two weeks. So it's something that you can make beforehand. Say if you've got a, uh, you know, a, a get together or a happening or a stitch group or a book party, this is something that you could put together and leave in your fridge. But I must tell you, you need to make a double batch because half of it will be gone <laughs> by the time you... What are you saying? I'm just saying... <laughs> Make sure, such, such, hello Melanie. Make sure you have enough, <laughs> or put some away, or whatever. <laughs> hide it from your husband. Hide it, hide it from everybody, because there'll be none left by That's the time funny. you need it. So yeah, make sure. Yeah. Anyway, let's get cracking. Now I am uh, using some rice bubbles, puffed rice, rice bubbles. puffed rice. Oh, Rachel, you, you could use um, puff quinoa. You could use puff. Um, brown rice, if you've got that, I'm just going to cheapskate it today and make some, just, it's rice bubbles, to be honest. No. So I am only doing half of the recipe as well. Uh, just because I want to show you, number one, that you can oh, have this recipe really successfully. People often say to me, I'm only one person, I don't want to make that much. So you could probably third it, you could probably quarter it. You guys are clever, you work it out. So, um, Sorry, I, can I just interject? Yes. Sorry, Diana said um, is that mace is loved by butchers. They use it in sausages, as a flavouring in sausages. There you go, because it's a nice gentle flavour yeah, that goes right. well with, yeah. Thanks Diana. Thanks for that. Your stuff. Now I have also got some shredded coconut. That's a more chunkier sort of coconut. I love coconut. Good, good, good. Chew on coconut forever and a day. I have got 
some cacao powder. Now cacao powder is from the unroasted cocoa bean and therefore has more natural health benefits, etc. I'm not mm. going to go into that because I actually think you have to eat so darn much of anything natural to, to <laughs> make it beneficial. But it has a different flavor. So it's a, it smells like cocoa powder, but it's a lighter in color, obviously, because cocoa powder is from roasted mm. cocoa beans. Now, um, Rachel is saying she'd never heard of mace. So Rachel, it is. It's, it's yeah. It is. It's not like the top. It's not top a common list. thing. No. I thought mace was something you sprayed in people's eyes to get them to go away. You could probably flick this in people's it, eyes, it, and it would be mildly yeah. irrit irritable. Irrit yeah. irrit irritable. I'm mildly irritable. Mildly. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> and Glennis is going to go out and get some as well. So cool. Well done. Well done. Because it is really nice, and it's just that little bit more subtle. You can replace nutmeg with mace, yeah. but you can use mace on a whole, it's really nice in your pumpkin soup. If you're bored with your pumpkin soup, chuck in some mace. Chuck in some mace. Well done. If you just want a little bit of a kick, something else. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I've got quarter of a cup of dark chocolate bits. You can do whatever you want. If you want to just slice up your bits, you can do that. Come in there. Oh, uh, just a tip, if you are watching this on um, the Facebook app, you can slide the comments away. So oh, you just yeah. swipe left or swipe right. So you you'll work it out. One of those so things. You can so you'll either get a date on Tinder or you'll get rid of the comments if you're swiping left or swiping right. Sorry. <laughs> what happens if you go up and down? Well, that's that's Tinder as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not that's not this type of show. We're just doing recipes today. Okay. Anyway, let's get cracking. <laughs> um, so I have got some coffee beans here, days. like proper whole coffee beans. Yeah. Uh, we love coffee in this house. If you yeah. don't like coffee, you just won't like this slice. Mm. But you could potentially replace coffee with, you know, some orange zest and things like that. Yep. What I've done is I bash the hell out of them with a the hammer because I don't want them to. I don't want it to be ground. You could use ground coffee, but I actually really enjoy. Hold up to the camera, so you get a bit closer. So it's, it's still quite chunky. It's quite chunky. Yeah. It's not a whole bean, but it's quite chunky. Yep. So I've got a quarter of a cup of that in there, and it's really nice. It gives you that pop of flavor. So just for the people that are joining us, we are making, what is it? Co it's, it's coffee, coffee and, and cacao, cacao slice. slice. And it's a non-bake It's one. a non-bake. It's a quick. It's something quick, you can easy. make and keep in your fridge for two weeks if it lasts that long. It's really great to take you know, with you if you've got to go for an afternoon tea and bring a plate. Yep. And there's so keeps many well. different things. It keeps just really well. And because it's non-bake, you get to keep all those earthy flavors and tones, yep. etc. And it tastes now, I'm just going to pop that to the side. Well I have got some melted chocolate, dark yeah. chocolate, at least 70%. If you love dark chocolate and you want to go up to your 85 or 90, by all means, do it. Yep. I am going to put in some melted coconut oil and I did this all oh, I love beforehand just so that you wouldn't have to put up with me melting, melting it. it in the microwave. I am really successful melting chocolate. Uh, you could actually put the coconut oil if it's solid, which it should be in winter, on top of your, your chocolate and just the trick is to do it in 10 second bursts and give it a really good stir. Like the first time you could do 20 seconds, the next time just 10 seconds and then stir it for a good sort of 20 to 30 seconds afterwards. Yeah. Alana, it does sound awesome, doesn't it? And the coconut in the flavor. The coconut is so just nice. Subtle and without lovely, being there. Without being overpowering. Okay, so I'm actually going to chuck my mace in there. There goes your mace. In we go. As I said, I've halved this recipe. So Because we've already made lots. Because I've already got a whole batch in my fridge. <laughs> it should last. And so I'm thank you everyone for joining. Now, the, the competition's a little bit of a harder one. The you may have the, to do yeah, a little bit I'm, of a research You on might this. have we to do some research. So basically, um, post in the comments what you would use Mason with a recipe. Or um, what you would like to use Mason yeah, exactly after right. learning about it. Looks like now you've got some honey going in. Now this is a tablespoon of honey. This is just normal honey. honey. If you wanted to use active manuka honey, you could because you're yeah. not going to cook it and therefore the active ingredients will stay active. They will. Or you can uh, just get some honey. Or you can just get some honey, but it's there's no right or wrong here. Uh, again, this is a non-bake. Non-bake. Uh, didn't this discussion come from talking to, was it my mum? Yeah. Something to take so to stitch in bits. She, yeah, she wanted something that she could make 
and not have to and rush she's a brilliant cook yeah. but you know how Kate she can't make them a week in advance unless you're going to put them in the freezer and then you've got to remember to get them out of the freezer but yeah. you know and all that sort of stuff this is something oh, you can wow. absolutely make and I also love it because you can actually present it in so many different ways so I think it's the kind of thing that you'd pay six bucks for it yeah cafe. and that's the thing imagine that it's like you'd see the sign that says coffee coffee and cacao slice yeah or whatever or what did i say you could make a um Tints of mace. what do i call it not a florin yeah so, florentine yeah, ben thought that you could make it sort of like a florentine, florentine. style which mm. you absolutely could so really what nice. i would do Just with the bowl so we can see what you're doing there a little bit that's the game. so what i would do with the florentine style is I would actually uh, put it on baking paper and get around cookie cutter yeah, that's and right. sort of yeah, just and slice it. That's just a good idea. sort of fill the cookie cutter with a little bit, push it down push it and down. around in your cookie cutter, and then lift you could the cookie do one. cutter. You could do one. You could do a cookie cutter. Then you could do one. Well, I could, but I need to walk away from my specific position. I will work it out. Um, the yeah, Alana, yeah, I, the mace, like we we're saying before, is not necessarily the in the top ten of spices, but no. it is something that. It's really that interesting. Should be used it should be used a lot more of Absolutely because it is. Be. Um, yep. It's not an overpowering flavour. It's really subtle. Yeah, and Amy, yep, absolutely. Your no-bake slice, fantastic, and it's just something that keeps. So you can see that. Look so, at that. Oh, it looks so rich. And okay, it is I reckon rich. you should freeze it or put it in the fridge. I'm just going to eat it out of the bowl. <laughs> now, this is the great thing with no-bake slice. I'm just going to yeah. use this spoon. At this it's stage, done. it's done. But at this stage, what you want to do. Taste it, taste it. Can you hear that crunch coming through? Oh, well, there's a bit of thought going mm. on. That's. So you want to taste it. So if it's not sweet enough for you, you want to add a little bit more honey. You know, if you want, if you go, mmm, I'd like some orange zest in there, that would really, you know, a little like, just, just a something. teaspoon, yep. just something, something. Something, something. So that's a great thing about no baked slice is that you can do that because, yeah. let's face it. Oh, Lana makes a um, chocolate fudge slice. Oh yeah, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of slices. I've got a really nice pistachio slice I'm going to nice slice. do. Well done. Now I've probably made way way too much for this tin, <laughs> but um. Love your comment, Diane. She says nature's lovely. Isn't yeah. nature lovely? Isn't nature lovely? Using the lacy pretty cover of the nutmeg. I know. <laughs> That's right. It is, and it's <laughs> and it's coloured. So anyway, you get my idea. You want to stick it in. Um, and she a loves container. Mrs. Rogers herbs and spices. Oh. Diane, you're a star. We love you, We love Diane. you. Well done. Pop it in your fridge for a couple of hours and then cut it up. Oh, and um, Virginia, um, chai latte. Put a mace in the chai latte. Oh, yes, chai latte. You find, you've got, you've got, have you got the ability to go and get one of those things to press what you're saying before? I kind of, I'm daring you. Uh, you have to it's walk. pulling me out of my comfort zone, right, everybody. It out Hang there. on, hold Jimmy, the line. Wait a minute. We're still here. We are still here. We're just grabbing something out of the cupboard because that's what we do. So don't, don't freak out what we're doing. Jimmy uses mason, gla mason glazes. Gla gla glaze. Oh, right. Glazes. Oh, that's hard to say. For ham. So that's cool. A ham glaze. Oh, and um, Alana. Yeah, Alana's doing a giveaway in our group. So she's got I some... I think she's um, already given it. Oh, she's given she it. Yeah, she, yeah, sorry. I'm not sure. Has she's she... Like, yeah. That's a double check. But Alana, you are a star. So she had some herbs and spices, Mrs. Rogers' herbs and spices that she um, couldn't... Uh, just wanted to give away, basically. So join the group. Have a chat. Um, you know, yes. It's great. Thank you, Alana. You're a star. Okay, well, so no. these are my round cookie cutters. So this is an idea of how to make... I'm, con I'm contributing rather than just talking. I don't know how well it's going to work out, but we'll I don't know if you're contributing, but oh, it's, I think I am. Move that. The move other the thing, roast nutmeg box sure. out of the way. The there, other so thing you see. could do is um, a look there. is use Mrs. Rogers' um, patty pan cases, yeah. party cases, I should say, not patty, and you could make little just individual ones because this this is not going to go hard until it goes in the into the fridge. No. So you'd need to probably use. So you don't need to work fast there. or no. carefully or. Just put it in there. Jam it in there. Making it. Oh yeah. It's going to be a little bit. Sorry, Alana. Yeah, there, the winner was already drawn. I must have missed that. Apologies. It did. I suck. Sorry, Alana. I can't remember who it was, but oh, there you look, go. See, it did work. Now you can move the product back in so people can see the product. So it does thing. work. So you it can do work. that. You, you could even That's do awesome. a solid layer of chocolate on that and real Florentine in yeah. it. But anyway, awesome. you can play with it. Well done. So, so there you go. Now, it's easy. I'm, I'm, it's easy, and I just want to show you because I've made mine look very cute. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut. and Look there, I want to show you because 
let's face it, we eat food with our eyes first. I do. A so I've got a little bit of chocolate, chocolate here. It's there. gone a little bit hard, but oh, that's cool. you put a blump. So the people who are watching this could also share it because I think this is a really... Um, it's so quick and easy. It's so quick and easy and it's going to look <laughs> yummy, yummy, get my tummy, says Alana. Okay, and then you've got to choose a nice looking coffee bean because there are yeah, some coffee beans that don't look nice. Look at look that. Look at that. You, would, uh, you could do, I reckon you do that on my Florentine style and you would be the queen of the... Stitch and bitch. You everyone, would. Everyone would be like, you would. Damn, and do you know good. what's nice? This this isn't, it's a rich slice, but it's not really, really sickly sweet. No. So it's really nice from that point you of view. You should eat some and tell people what it looks like. Oh, okay. Come on, grab some. I want to hear the crunch. Okay. Get that bit on the end. Yeah. Yum. And then you could pass it to me and I could try it. Cameraman hand coming in from the side. There, oh, there it is there. Looks really nice. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Alana, Mrs. Rogers are already the queen. Well, we can have we can have other people on the throne. It's all good. Mm. Mm. I, I have a... Oh, so excuse me, eating my mouth, mouth with my food in my mouth. Bronwyn uses cakes, mason cakes and biscuits. And mm. she likes and shared. Thank you, Bronwyn. It's lovely, thanks. Oh, I love mm. the, the... The crunch. The, the coffee crunch. The, the grit mm. of the coffee is awesome. Oh, in there's there. so many... Textures in there. Um, Bronwyn's mm. got a question. Can you use mm. mace and savoury cooking? Absolutely, yeah, Bronwyn. Before, yeah, the, uh, uh, it's beautiful in pumpkin soup if you just want to spice oh, up your pumpkin so soup. Nice. And you can you don't want to overcook mace or nutmeg. So what you do is you put it in close to the end anyway. Um, or uh, it's mace is actually really nice in like slow cooker sort of meats with uh, mm. gaming meats and things like that. I've actually got a savoury mace one oh, coming good. up. But yeah, hey guys, this is really easy. I wanted to, to come right in close to you and show you that you can make fancy pants, go to a cafe and be charged $5 for a piece yep. uh, at home. And yep. it makes a really yep. good volume. I mean, that was, that was half of what I've made. Now, if, you, um, if cacao powder is too expensive, by all means, you could replace that with cocoa powder. It's going to give it a slightly different flavor, so I would maybe sort of not put as much in to start with and taste it. Add more if you need it. Now, um, sorry, Diane's just got a comment. Yes. So she likes to put um, a little piece of dark chocolate into a um, mole, mm -hmm. um, and then that sauce with, with um, and uses the, that with a Spanish pork dish, which Ooh. uses most and about a million other. Yum. Send us the recipe, I'd like to make that. Mmm, that sounds, sounds good. Really, really cool. Give us a recipe. Ginger and mace rice pudding, Glenna said. She's going to mm. try it. Yeah. That'll be lovely. Well done. Yeah. That's cool. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. With no drama with the pumpkin soup. Let us know. Anyway, join the group. Anyway, the group. join the group. Let's have a good discussion because the yeah. group's more about you guys talking than us. Yeah, exactly. Although we do jump in now and then. I don't know if anybody saw my spilt cream the other day. That was kind of funny. Looked like a smile. It was, it was cool. really happy. I'm like, do I cry over spilt cream like you do with milk or shall I laugh? <laughs> no, I no. laughed. You laughed. Exactly. Luckily, I have more cream. If I didn't have more cream, I probably would have cried. And Rachel <laughs> used, um, uh, has found a recipe for oatmeal cookies with mace. So mm. she's going to try that. That'd be nice. It's be just really a subtle nice. flavour. beautiful. It's just, it's so subtle that you can use it. You just don't want to overcook it no. like nutmeg because you'll lose the flavour. Uh, yeah. But I reckon it be mace would be really nice on top of your coffee. Like mm. you know how you have cinnamon or nutmeg sprinkled. I reckon mace and maybe a little bit of drinking yeah, chocolate powder. Mixed yeah, well, like together. the chai that was mentioned before. Yeah, be cool. exactly. Um, now, so do, if everyone, if you get a moment, just let us know what you think of this format. Just we're trying something mm, a little bit different, trying something it like you. this, so it's a little bit different on the screen because um, we're going to be doing a lot more on Instagram and IGTV. So this is a bit of a test. Oh, you got to lick them. Lucky. Well done. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck in the competition. Mm, good luck on the competition. We will draw it uh, 1 p.m. Thursday next week. Oh, wait. Tabitha's just come through. She oh. uses an uh, Indian spice of macaroni. Indian spice macaroni cheese. What? Hell, Tabitha, that sounds good. You can make like a, oh, like a mac and cheese burger -y thing. An Indian, Indian you could do spice. a chicken, Indian spice chicken, chicken mac and, mac cheese, and cheese, burger. cheese burger. Oh, that sounds awesome. Uh, it was um, ground mace, yes. Yes, ground mace. Yes. So Mrs. Rogers have ground mace. They've Look got that. whole nutmeg and ground, ground nutmeg. Mace, so you can only, to... you can really sure. only grind the mace. You can't. I'm pretty sure you can't no. use the floury thing. Like this is a whole nutmeg. This 
The flowery thing on the outside where the mace comes from is on the outside of yeah. this nut. So, and it's bright red to pink in colour. Hmm. Looks it's very nice. Priority. Isn't it clever? I wonder how people worked out that they could grind up the outside. Grind up the outside of a saying, flower. Or the inside wonderful. of a nut. Hello. Anyway. Hey, Melanie, another Melanie anyway. King. And um, um, Tabitha says Arminian, Arminian nut cake is lovely. With mace. Mm. Well done. Yum. Yeah. Add them to the grocery list. Give it a crack. Um, post your recipes up in the group. Yes. And have. We're going, heading to the weekend. Thursday. Yeah, a we're nearly. Thursday. Nearly at the weekend. I, I actually heard a new uh, slogan. If 50 is the new 40, or you could say 40 is the new 30, then can Thursday be the new Friday? Yeah, absolutely yeah. should be. So happy Friday, happy everyone. Happy Friday. Yay. Well done. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for, for your watching. comments. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye.